Hey everyone, Lord Davin here again, and today uh, I want I want to talk a little bit about the One Year One Thousand uh, giveaways. Um, there's been a slight delay um, in the announcement of the winners because I'm working on an announcement of my own, which will hopefully happen in a day or two. So there's been a slight delay on that. Uh, I, I apologize. Um, I've got prizes all stacked up right there. They're going to happen in, in, in a day or two, um, I hope. Otherwise, they're going to happen without my announcement um, and my depression. Um, anyway, so um, I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I wanted to highlight this product because um, touch a class. And uh, what I'm talking about is the Kanger Pro Tank. So the Kanger Pro Tank, um, now of course this isn't the first recording of this video, I kind of do them in series and things happen like the phone rings and other things like the animals go nuts. So this was shrink wrapped, it is no longer but it does come completely shrink wrapped with this seal and this sticker underneath the shrink wrap. Now the 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 banner on here is of course the Kanger you know, Pro Tank. Um, seal uh, and banner and, and when you take these off you of course have to break the seal it reveals this nice box and uh, this is one of the things that that I want to highlight um, we're used to getting stuff in a tin and, and we like tins because well it, it shows a touch of class well this is that pleathery kind of foam padded jewelry box almost um, that's an even better touch of class. Uh, so I think this needs to be highlighted. When you open it, you actually get instructions. And these instructions are completely picture for those of us who can't read um, or don't want to read, uh, explaining how to put the tank together. On the back is some very well worded, I mean, there's a couple of typo here and there, but um, very well worded guide. Uh, there's a congratulations on the top. And then we have a guide of bottom coil ohms to voltage. So what voltage you should be running what ohm heads at. Uh, and I think that's fantastic. As well on the inside we have two heads and this foam padding on the top and the bottom. We have two heads. We have the tank. We have the base. And then we have an Ego Type D connector. So this is a 510 threaded device. It's not ego threaded. So those of us who have an ego threaded device, we have a nice little ring. Um, now some of them come with rings already like the, the EVEC, um, but other standard ego devices do not. Now, this is the Kanger Pro Tank, and it is a, and it feels chrome plated. I don't know what the material is. I will be finding out for the video though. I will be doing a review and there's the phone here. <clears throat> and I'm not doing this again, so we're gonna leave it. <laughs> here is the Kanger Pro Tank. And uh, it, it is a very attractive looking tank. Uh, it does have Pyrex glass. It is uh, chrome plated. Uh, a thick material and it looks like the inside of the EVOD. Um, just to show, let's let's take an EVOD and compare. I'm going to take the base off of this EVOD and we will look at the inside. So that's the EVOD and this is the Pro Tank. Now, let's take a look at the bases here, and I'm going to take the head off of the EVOD. Here we have the base for the EVOD, and here we have the base for the Pro Tank. As you can see, it is 510 threaded, as this is Ego threaded, meaning that the threads are on the outside. 
both are absent of wick and coil. And let's take a look at the heads. This is the Pro Tank head, and this is the EVOD head. And as you can see, the post is much lo longer. Uh, this post is shorter for the EVOD, and the bases are a little different right at the bottom. Now, of course, they're both rebuildable. But the Pro Tank has a narrower base here. And this little pin, this bottom pin, of course, you could pull it out uh, and, and use the EVIC head. And the EVIC head actually does fit inside the Pro Tank. Um, you could even move this, this tube over to the uh, EVOD head if you wanted to and, and use the EVOD head. The EVOD head does give a much tighter draw, uh, I think, if you move the pin over. Um, maybe cut the gasket a little bit. It would uh, it would work just fine and give you the airier draw. So we're going to take the base and we're going to screw the head into it. And now we have our bottom base piece. We're going to screw our pro tank together so we can see what it looks like. And that's the evide completed. I don't have any juice in it as of yet, but I would like to get an Ego battery, place the connector on it, and this goes on the outside threading to make tanks look better, and then screw on the Pro Tank. And there we go. Now. I wasn't going to do this, but what the heck. <laughs> Let's let it rip. Yeah, it takes more juice than I was expecting. And I didn't fill it all the way, as you can see. Few dry pulls. Now let me, um, before I do this, let me put it on my EVIC just to get a, a test of the resistance. Let's see what it comes in at. 2.5 ohms. Now using their guide, <laughs> 2.5 ohms should be around uh, 3.9 to 4.2 volts. So let's go to 4.2. I always do a couple of dry pulls and a blow. Another dry pull. And I can tell it's wicked. Okay. I was just breaking in. And definitely tell I could turn her up too. All right, the Kanger Pro Tank. I'm going to spend about a week with it, and uh, then I'm going to let you know more. Um, so far, I'm very excited. All right, that's the Kanger Pro Tank. I'm Lord Devin. Let him know I sent you.